Hi, my beautiful Taurus, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. For those of you that are new, welcome. And if you are returning, I am so glad to have you back. This is going to be your reading for the month of November. And we have the Hierophant, which is your card. So Taurus, right now you're moving into this energy where you are being called to recommit to yourself, realign with your values, with your inspirations, with your wants and with your desires. You are being called to take a minute and just go within. Forget everybody else, forget everything else. Act as if you have one week on an island on your own. And what would you want for yourself? because you are moving into this transition where you are going to start getting a lot of the things that you've been wanting for a while quite easily. You are entering into this new energy. So some of you guys, you may have recently ended a really long-term or a really serious relationship, a relationship with somebody that you might've thought you were meant to spend the rest of your life with. Others of you are walking into a point where you're meeting the person where you were meant to spend the rest of your life with. Some of you are in this energy where the things that you thought you wanted aren't what you want anymore, and that is perfectly fine. But the most important question right now is what, what do you want? What do you want to have? If you could have it all, what would that look like? And to start making a plan to create that life for yourself, because not only are you gonna have the energy and the powers within you, powers that you've always had, but you might have just only come into realization that you've had to create the life that you desire, but the universe is going to be working with you. There is somebody's energy like peeking in here. Um, I'm just gonna say it really quickly. There is an ex surrounding you that is having a really hard time letting you go or hasn't been able to let you go. This might've been a situation that had a very bad ending. Um, this could have been a situation where at the end of the day, you realize that this person was absolutely not who you thought they were. But as you're moving to this new level of yourself, this person is like, it's like your life is coming together in the most beautiful ways and somebody else's life is just becoming a disaster. But both of them are happening for reasons, right? Both of them are happening. Your life is going like this because of what you've done to get yourself there, to get yourself where you are now, which obviously is gonna make your life improve. And their life is kind of deteriorating because of the fact that, I don't know, I, I just kind of feel like this person like wrapped themselves around you. Like they incorporated their whole life into you, into who you are, into, you know what I mean? Like they might not have had that much of a life outside of you. They could have been running away from certain things um, with the relationship uh, by prioritizing your relationship. But it's like, this is somebody that has to do some serious deep purging. And um, so just know that this person is going to be like a little gnat in your ear. Um, they're going to try to do everything and anything that they could possibly do to get you back ultimately here. But that energy is not for you. And that's why you're being called right now to really think about what it is that you want, right? Because they could get you in a moment of weakness, but you're not meant to go backwards. You're meant to move forward. All right, Taurus. We have the death card. For some of you, this could be a Scorpio. For some of you, this could be another Taurus. Others of you, this could be a Sagittarius or Aries or a Leo here. Um, but regardless here, I see I see new love coming into your life. And for those of you that are already in some sort of uh, connection that is not like what I had described, I see this revamping here. I see that you and this person are going to be going through um, transformations, separate transformations, um, um, focusing on two separate areas of your lives. But ultimately, it's going to bring you guys into alignment. This is somebody that you're going to notice is going through similar or opposite things as you um, around the same times as you and you're going to kind of be evolving every time you're evolving every time you're moving forward or every time you're going through something intense this person is always kind of going through something in that same sense here and so for a lot of you guys here um you have a lot of beautiful opportunities that are coming in for you here like i said it's almost like you're saying goodbye to 
one world and for, for a lot of you you're really happy like you're just like I've been waiting for this world to just be gone like I've just been waiting for this next level of, and you've been feeling it for so many months now some of you six months some of you nine months some of you the past three months but you've been feeling this shift you've been waiting for this shift or the opposite actually because for some of you I'm actually getting this energy of like you've been devastated you've been distraught you like you kind of might have just hit rock bottom and now you're just like you're you're about to like blast off to the top right so um either way you've been waiting for this to happen you've been waiting for this to happen and now it's finally coming in here and so i'm actually hearing the world as you know it will never be the same the world as you know it will never be the same some of you guys are going to be moving soon others of you guys you might be moving very far from where you are and if you're already if you've already made a move quite far you may be feeling called to move back home or back near to your um back near to your near and dear ones um but yeah you have the world card a big huge chapter is ending and with the three of diamonds here you have a new three-year cycle coming in here so the things that you're going to start to see manifesting in front of your eyes and the things that have already manifested in front of your eyes these things are going to be lasting over the next three years or they're going to be things that are going to help you get to wherever your ideal goal is at the end of those three years so when it comes to thinking about what you want think about it in the terms of three years don't think um you know to like i would say you can think further than three years but don't plan and put the actual energy in for anything that's past three years just when it comes to the energy and the day-to-day -day manifestations that you're going to do focus on between now and the next three years from now and i think that this is a cycle between um scorpio season towards um the end of aries season or no scorpio season towards the beginning of aries season okay Oh, I saw this one. We have the six of diamonds here. Yeah, you are, you're gonna be matched with a lot of people that mimic you, that um, are mirrors to you. And even people that have been in your life for a while now, you're gonna notice that those people start to mirror you. I'm hearing that there's going to be three to six very significant people over um, the next couple of months uh, that are gonna play a role in your life. And some of these people you're going to meet during Scorpio season here. Um, these are, I'm hearing some of them you already know and they're revamped versions of who they once were. And others of these people, these are people that you're not gonna necessarily meet on your own, but you're gonna meet them through friends, family members, um, like siblings, coworkers, you're going to be introduced to these people. And some people, some of them you're not even gonna be introduced to, but you'll just be in a place that maybe a friend or a sibling took you to, and you're gonna meet those people through that. So know that every connection that you're making um, and all the people that come into your life during November are going to have a significant place in your life. And so just be very intentional about who you're allowing into your life. Know that any signs, synchronicities, any messages that you get, any feelings that you get related to people, these are, there's a deeper purpose, there's a deeper meaning to, um, to why you're feeling these things, why you're hearing these things, why you're sensing these things. Some of you, you have the magician. Yeah, you have a lover coming in. This is Aquarius energy. Uh, we also have Sag energy here and the fixed sign. So you, um, so Taurus, Scorpio, Leo and Aquarius energy. But with this energy here, I am feeling like you have somebody coming in who is going to be nothing like your usual type um, physically. Physically, this is not your usual type at all um but you are going to be so drawn to this person this is somebody that you're gonna it's gonna be a very very hard for you to keep your eyes off this person wherever they go you're just gonna be like like you are going to be so stuck like glue when it comes to this person you're gonna want to you're gonna find yourself doing really little uh cheesy things that you would normally never be caught dead doing um to just kind of like be in this person's presence like you're gonna find yourself um constantly asking about this person because like i said this is somebody that that knows somebody who you know here and this is somebody who is meant to transform your life so i'm hearing whatever you picture it's either one of two things either whatever you picture yourself having with this person is exactly how it's going to pan out like to the t or it's going to be something even more incredible that you than you could ever imagine but it's going to be 
the complete opposite of what you had pictured, but it's still going to benefit you in the most amazing way, in a way that is better than what you had pictured, if that's how it ends up panning out for you. But this is somebody who is very mysterious. This is somebody who is an ultimate manifester. This could be somebody who's very, very spiritual and makes you question every single thing that you know. Um, this is somebody who is going to really just make you realize that you don't have to always work so hard to get the things that you want, okay? They are going to show you the best way for you to manifest. They are going to really open you up to different sides of spirituality. I mean, you're already watching this tarot reading, so you are quite open. But at the end of the day here, um, this is somebody who is going to introduce you to different sides and maybe that's tapping into your intuition. Maybe that's using certain tools that you already have or tools that are in alignment with you to manifest certain things that you want here. But um, you're going to be able to transform this person's life in a physical way and they're going to transform your life in a mental and a spiritual way. And together, like... you're going to inspire a lot of people. You're going to inspire a lot of people. You're, you're definitely like, nobody would ever be able to say like, oh, you two belong together. Or I thought you guys were like, once they get to know you for sure. But at first glance, like nobody would ever assume I'm going to introduce tourists to this person because I think that they would vibe. Absolutely not. And even you, you're going to be like, why am I so drawn to this person? And I think even this person is going to be like, why am I so drawn to you? And to be honest, even though you're both so drawn to each other, I think that you guys might both try to pretend like you're not. Um, but I think that it's something that people are going to be able to pick up on it, but like also not be able to understand what it is because like you're just completely just two opposites. Um, but opposites attract in some of the best ways. And because you guys are on the same wavelength and you've dealt with very similar things in your past and you will deal with similar things in your future, that is ultimately what connects you. It's your soul. It's the things that people can't see that you both can feel quite instantly. So beautiful, beautiful energy coming towards you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the description box how this resonates with you. Um, personal readings will be in the description box and I hope you guys have a beautiful November. Take care, my loves.